Okay, here we have the first look of my new Lightwave, Crux Lightwave S15 Sigma. I know one or two of you want to see this, especially Dave the Border Rambler, very interested. Well, having used it now for two nights, it is, with all these guy lines out now, it is super stable. Single skin tent with that Space Age fabric coating. I hope to show you more of it at another time. But so far, one other thing, that fabric really does work. The first night there was not even a breath of wind. And in the morning, of all the inside was just, you could feel a bit of condensation but it was like inside the fabric only really on the seams could you see a little bit but as soon as i opened the door fully 10 20 minutes after i cooked my uh you know some cappuccino and stuff the fabric went to work completely with the air coming in and it, it was dry bone dry by the time I picked it up I know the owner of this company um, he has talked about this tent on one of these uh, UK forums apparently this te fabric technology is his own design or patented whatever it's been used by the military it's been on his crux tents which are the all out mountaineering tents for a good few years as well the coat some people on the forum were saying that oh if the coating's on the outside it's going to wear away no the, the coating he explained was on the inside and they've been testing it for five good few years with those expedition those mountain tents and it's and it's no signs of it deteriorating i'm totally enclosed in there now no wind bothers me it's a four season tent it comes in i've, I've managed to lower the because it all in it comes about 1300 grams but i've dynamoed up all the guy line and i would bags as well I, I bought dyneema ones so that's a good few grams saved there as well Let's see and where's the other one in there somewhere so probably comes in about 1200 grams for a four season backpacking tent that give you complete protection i'm more than happy to carry that knowing that i can put my tent anywhere i want as long as i've got my nine inches msr stakes no problem good night good morning it's about 8 a.m the night quite still again the wind has just disappeared i don't know what's happened there was a little bit about nine o'clock and then it just disappeared again it's, you could hear a pin drop out there <laughs> let's have a look at the tent you see the front porch bit of the tent which is not that special material it's full of like dew and water condensation whatever you want to call it but inside of all the The fabric does feel damp. It's fine. There's nothing there. You can see it's pumping through. There is a little bit of water. You can see it on the on the seams here where they've, they've probably been tapped. You can see there. That's on the outside. Of course, with my microfiber cloth, which no um, long distance backpacker should be without. I'll just give it a rub down. And get get all that kind of water out but very impressive I've got to say very impressive but anyway it doesn't even matter if there was a bit of condensation because here's the crux sleeping bag <laughs> which is waterproof so no problem but anyway I think I'm becoming a bit of a fan of crux and lightwave <laughs> really warm night again I can't believe it in this tent. In fact, it's too warm. <laughs> so this will be a brilliant winter tent, I think. <laughs> but you can see, I think, from from the video that there is a bit 
a steam in here, <laughs> like a sauna. <laughs> really unusual weather for this was nearly in October now. <laughs> yep, daylight's fading fast. Chosen to wild camp on the ridge at its highest point. See here, there's some kind of cane. <laughs> Not a fan of these, but I won't go as far as kick them down like Cameron McNeish. <laughs> so let's take a walk around now. Another ridge high up on Hergest Hill. So this one and the four there on each side of the, the main two poles, just the bracing pole at the yeah, there's two there. This one here is all it needs on steel, up to about 30 mile an hour winds. The book says that's all it needs. Yeah. As the wind increases to gale force, you can put out these ones. This one at the front, and the one at the back here, and storm force. They reckon you put out these ones, but. If I'm out and it's gale force winds, I'm putting all of them out, <laughs> no matter what the book says. <laughs> but it's great that they have so much confidence in it. Can't argue with that. <laughs> so what I like about it is the black side to it. Should keep it really disguised. <laughs> morning a very wet and windy night see I've nearly got a lake here <laughs> well what's the report on the tent quite good quite good of course I was not expecting zero condensation or zero water inside the tent with these single wall tents that's never, you know, that's going against nature. I don't think anything, any fabric will be able to do it, manage it 100%, but nothing is wet. A little bit of water here, you know, well, as the fabric got overloaded because it was raining a lot and it's quite, still quite humid. So there's a lot of humidity, you know, a little bit there, but underneath tent is all fine even though I'm practically in a buggy now <laughs> so a little bit a little bit of water there
today so I'm about 12 or 13 days carrying the Crux Lightwave Sigma S15 on Offers Dyke using it every day but one I have to say I'm well impressed with this tent for its performance in the wind it's total protection from the wind today running out of daylight on the dike I climbed one of the goat paths up from the main path found this place now because I'm miles from anywhere any normal campsite <laughs> but I'm more than happy to put this here it will stay no problem look at the wind is blowing it's not moving at all and I haven't even got it pitched at its tightest settings because if you see down here you've got the the loose setting and then you've got a tighter setting I've always done on the loose settings it's been fine I will say though the weather I've, I've been getting the last few days has been very very autumnal lots of rain don't be expecting this to be zero condensation in there it isn't I'm using it with my Crux lightweight my Crux torpedo waterproof sleeping bag so I've got no problems about condensation but the fabric will get overloaded if it's raining all night you're gonna have to deal with condensation some little puddles maybe on the sides of the where it runs down the seams in here but not a lot so if you haven't got a waterproof sleeping bag I suggest you bring your bivy as well you can get some lightweight ones I, because if you've got a down bag it's going to get wet if it touches the sides or anything is placed touching the walls because the, the water kind of gets drawn into that so I carry a lot of Dyneema dry bags so nothing is left in this tent in the evening everything is inside the Dyneema bag because I, I learnt the hard way when I had a couple of things resting on the side of the fabric and they were soaked because it kind of like draws the water in there but apart from that I love this tent I've been using it for a long time because it's I've got it down to 1200 grams it's a four season tent and you can put it anywhere I'm using it with my nine inch with my nine inch oh, I can't get that out. <laughs> it's, see with these it ain't going anywhere once these go in these don't come out there has to be a serious amount of wind for this to come out you can see two main poles double guide stop them moving most of the nights in the campsites I've not been using any of these yellow guy lines doesn't need it even when the wind picks up but uh about it <laughs> here's my setting it's coming up at 6 30 now daylight soon gonna disappear I hope you've enjoyed these videos on the crux on the lightwave Sigma S15 because I know there's not a lot of videos on YouTube about this tent or all these lightwave tents there's, uh, who's that guy? That Scottish guy does a lot of tent reviews, I've forgotten his name. But he had the S10 or the S20. They don't really go on long distance backpacks, it's just like overnight wild camping. This needs needed to be tested out on multi-week adventures. See how the fabric holds out. Once the wind is blowing now, it will be dry inside because I packed it away in the morning, it was soaking wet. 
I'm gonna have to get my my um, microfiber cloth in here and do the bottom. So I'm at the campsite at Bodfrey on the tent this morning as I was packing it away in the winds. I had a failure. The wind caught it, and this secondary pole up here. Very happy with that. Needs, probably needs more reinforcing now. So I'll be getting onto Lightwave as soon as I get back. See how good their customer service is. But for a tent that costs this amount of money, that is disappointing. I know this is a new tent, but that is disappointing. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 